a speed chuck is attached to a 3 8 inch shaft. Epoxy is used to make sure everything stays tight. The shaft is a press fit into a block of ABS, which will electrically isolate it from the frame, but a brass cylinder is used to make the connection to the high current supply. This also will be epoxied in to make sure it stays tight. A stack of washers will keep the screw from passing through the shaft for now. And it's cranked down tightly to make sure of a solid electrical connection. and the hole can be filled with epoxy. Now the chuck is mounted on a rod set in the fourth axis of the CNC mill to true it up so it's coaxial with the slide. a little deeper on the second pass. A reference edge is left for alignment on the slider.
Now the electrically isolated quick chuck has been trued up. The flat should now be coplanar with a slide and the arras of the references should be coaxial. A couple of screws and washers will fasten the chuck to the slider. An embedded washer distributes the forces of the screw, which is countersunk, to prevent contact with the high current electric connection. Pressing the reference edge against the top of the slider, the screws are tightened, and the chuck should now be properly aligned coaxial with the slider. There it is. So now an electrically isolated quick chuck is connected to a precision slide driven by a quarter inch 20 TPI screw with backlash adjustment, powered by an RC servo motor with a 100 tooth gear. Thanks for watching.